The legend has become a reality. After more than a decade of planning, ground was broken this week on the Bloomingdale Trail. The Bloomingdale Trail will be at the heart of the 606, the system of parks and open space that will ultimately connect Wicker Park, Bucktown, Logan Square, and Humboldt Park. Running adjacent to Bloomingdale Avenue from Ashland on the east to Ridgeway on the west, the former freight line will be converted not just to trails for cyclists and joggers, but to open park space that will allow everyone to enjoy the unique view. The 606 will include park space at various points next to the trail. The total cost is expected to be $91 million, be paid for through a combination of public and private money. Ben Helfand is one of the founding members of the Friends of the Bloomingdale Trail. He explained how the land is ripe for conversion. This thing is 100 years old. They raised the tracks exactly 100 years ago. And they did it because the city was booming and people couldn't live with the freight trains going through their street. So they needed to make their city livable. So they raised the tracks. Uh, but cities change. Uh, and then you know, what, be, what was helping the city live became a barrier. Uh, it was dividing neighborhoods. It was an eyesore. Uh, and it was separating, separating communities. Helfen told Logan Square TV about what he saw when he first explored the Bloomingdale Trail. About uh, eight years earlier, um, nature had taken over. There were, there were trees that had grown up between the tracks. There were birds. Uh, there were other wildlife. Uh, there were some wild parakeets, which I always loved. Uh, neighbors had put up gardens and wildflowers. Um, so it was just this little narrow stretch of paradise and so many, it wasn't just me, hundreds, maybe thousands of other people had done the same thing because right down the middle of this little forest was, was a path. The Friends of the Bloomingdale Trail became aware of the Trust for Public Land and reached out to the nonprofit organization for assistance with the trail project. We became involved when the Friends of the Bloomingdale Trail came to us and said, hey, there's a piece of property between Albany and Whipple next to the elevated structure. Would you guys come buy it and turn it into a park? It's like, Where is this? <laughs> so they knew our work from Haas Park, which is also in Logan Square where we worked with the park district to expand that park and um, double its size. So we took a look and um, the more we did, the more we were asked to do. So now we're the project coordinator for the 606 and Bloomingdale Trail. The plans have been more than a decade in the making, which left some neighbors supposing that it would never happen. Ben Helfand, however, was more patient. I never doubted it. I never doubted. I knew, you know, if you put a door in a wall, you know it's going to open to something. So as soon as they started acquiring land next to the trail for future access points, I'm like, this is going to happen. It may not be five years or 10 years or 20 years, but it's going to happen. It's happening quicker now because Mayor Emanuel picked it, picked it up. While many of the parks that will make up the 606 are already publicly accessible, the Bloomingdale Trail itself, the elevated portion, is expected to open in the fall of 2014. For Logan Square TV, this is Dan O'Donnell.